Good day, folks. Back out in the shop again. Figured it's a good day to put the uh, back tail lights in since I'm waiting on that piece of transmission tuner line to finish that. And that would finish up most of the wiring back here. I don't have a marker light for your, your license plate, which you require up here. Uh, I might be able to scrap scrounge one from one of the old trucks back there. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go have a look. I'd like to have that light put in place so that I can just, when I get a plate, slap it in and I'm done. And no more wiring back here. So yeah, there's the lights we're going with. They got the reverse in them, turn and stop, which is all you really need. And I'm just trying to figure out whether I want to put them in the center of this or off to the side. I think the center makes more sense. Yeah, I like the center better. That's what we're going to do. Let's do some measuring. Since I didn't even have to go far, it's only a measuring tape for a change. Well, that's the right one. Right. Woo. Got millimeters and inches on it. Aren't we getting all high tech around here? Look at that. They're actually the same size. It's a miracle. The wire on this is actually offset. It doesn't come out the middle. My new lights. <laughs> I'm just marking the centers of this opening so that I can figure out where my lights are going to go. There's my centers of this area. And I know that my wire comes out three quarters of an inch piece. Alright, so there's my counter sinks. No going back now. These don't need a rubber grommet going through here. They kind of got one built onto the back. Whatever they use to seal the light goes about a half an inch down the wire. Oh, I like that. That's way better than those round ones that I was going to use. I remember which wires were which. It's been so long here. Radio still works. Okay, so yellow is my left turn. I'll leave that over on this side. In here, i got to dig my yellow wire out. Like that. Definitely don't need left turn on this light. Let's go find the right turn signal. I broke my tool of that forever. I don't know how that happened. Light marker lights. This should be right. There we go. Green is right turn. I gotta go find a marker light because I don't want to have to redo this later. The scrap cards have provided. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna put that on there. Well, it's just a giant here. I have to put a big hole in to get that to go in, and it's got to go up there. I don't see if I can find something smaller. Well, I couldn't find a marker that I liked any more than that one, and I don't want to cut a big hole in it like I need for that. So my other option is to do a little bracket thing, and I don't know. I'm going to grab a license plate, that's what I'll do. If I pick up two small ones, I can put them out there. No, that's not my license plate, that's for the Jeep. i pick up two small ones and put them on the edges, and they kind of shine that way. Because I don't have a lot of room up here, and that puts me into the box. So, I think that's the way to go. i get two, two little ones from somewhere. Amazon! Well, before I get too far and start chopping up too many wires, I should probably make sure that I've got this loom exactly where I want it. That's a good thing I kept the instructions. For some reason, they're using the white wire as ground. Well, that's no good. That's what I get for assuming they would be logical about it. Let's try this again. All right, ground's hooked up. Should be red wire or turn signal. Oh, oh, oh. Do 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 do
the leaves. I think it should go over a blue once it's been melted. We shall see. Now we got our marker light over here, white wire. Ah, better. Now we got our marker running and our turn signal. All right, now we're doing the backup light. I can't really test because it hasn't got power, but I know it's there and I know what it's for. Well, we got this light done. Gotta put it in now. Clean up these wires, a little bit of tape. I'm gonna try with Okay. This side's wired up. What I need to do now is lay out my wires for my marker light. So a ground and a white. White is my running light right here. So that has power right now. Marker, and then I gotta run it back over to here. Here's my license plate marker light done. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of tape on here and throw it back into this loom. Well, that's just gonna stay like that for now. Oh, we're making ground up now. So I'm gonna turn that off with some blinding. Okay, all four wires are done. They're soldered and heat shrink. We're just double heat shrinking them here because, well, my driveway tends to have some water in it. And you never know when I want to go doing some donuts in Hayfield. More than I need, as planned. I just cut off the excess. Everything's off. Left turn. Right turn. Headlights are on, there's the markers, there's hazards. And hazards is the same set circuit as uh, brake lights, which I don't have wired up, I don't even have to pedal it in right now. So if I'm getting hazards, then I'm gonna have brake lights. Let's try the headlights on. Be blinking. Oh yeah, we're rocking now. So that would be the same as your brake light. So if those are working, then I know when I wire up my brake pedal and the switch for that, that I will have lights. My uh, license plate marker light, just gotta get that in and figure out what I'm gonna do with that. But that's pretty sweet. 